Welcome to Countdown. Bill, you've obviously got a, a great rapport with your audience. Oh, I like to relate to people like another person. I don't believe in that whole uh, rock star syndrome where you ignore the audience and uh, you're supposed to be the artist and uh, you just sit up here and play. I mean, it's a way for me to feel comfortable being up here because once in a while I go, what am I doing up here? So uh, you talk to people. I always have a good time. I, I've been a musician since I was four. I've been a professional musician since I was uh, 14. I'm lucky. I mean, I always know what I wanted to do. And I made a living at it, and uh, I always have a good time. I also, I think people might have an opinion of me from Piano Man that I'm this sensitive, suffering, you know, songwriter type, and I'm not. I'm just, you know, this is my gig. This is what I do for a living. That's all. Obviously, your music has a, a great versatility to it, so you, you wouldn't like to be typecast as any particular type of writer. No, I don't like to fall into a formula. Uh, I like all kinds of music, anything that's good. Uh, I like to be eclectic, so I, I, I like the Beatles. Um, I don't want them to get back together. They did plenty enough, you know, fine. They don't have to get back together as far as I'm concerned. But they were eclectic, they did all kinds of music. And uh, like Piano Man, I think, might have typecast me as far as some people were concerned. Oh, Piano Man, well, it's a story song. and. So that's the kind of songs the guy does. And in fact, the rest of the album isn't, there isn't another song like that. They're all different. And Street Life, which came after Piano Man, was kind of a rebellion against being typecast. It was a whole change up in form. And likewise, Turnstiles is uh, like the title of the album, Turnstiles. I mean, there's uh, eight different tracks and eight different styles of music because we all like to play different kinds of music. Do you still find that you've had a progression in the style of your music over the last few years, though? I hope so. Yeah, I think, you know, what's, what's the commercially smart thing to do is once you have a hit record is to do another record right after it. Kind of like the same thing, but a little different. And I didn't want to do that. I mean, I, I think uh, <clears throat> what some people in the music business might, might, want to, might want me to do is like, why don't you put out Piano Man 2? You know, and then Piano Man 3 and so forth and so on. And I don't want to do that. Because once you start imitating yourself, you're dead. you got to grow. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I progressed. James, your new single here in Australia, and I guess it's, it's released in the States, um, is that, once again, one of your sort of story-type uh, songs or just something about that you want to feel, you want to write about? Uh, James, I don't really think of it as a story-type of song. It, to me, it's um, impressions. Uh, that are layered. It's like you build a foundation and you add another layer on top of it, like an impressionistic painting. James is uh, actually a composite of people that I know personally, but it could be one person in particular. I, a lot of people have said that they know somebody like that. And um, it's, it's a composite song, really. Fine. Have you any plans uh, on a new LP after Ten Stars yet, or are you still just waiting to see what happens? I got some bits and pieces, but the album came out this summer, and we've been on the road most of the time since the album came out. And I can't write on the road. I mean, you can't bring a grand piano into uh, the hotel room. You know?